Hey guys, here to do a review for Sausage Party, and just as in the last review I posted, there's not going to be any intro because I'm working on something new because I didn't really, I don't really like the thing that I have up. So, without further ado, the first thing I want to say is, look, you don't even need to be watching this if you're like not into like crude humor or like you are really like offended easily or anything like that because the first things I'm going to tell you is if you are any of those things do not go see this movie don't go see this movie please do not go see this movie with that out of the way for the rest of you um I actually found myself really enjoying this movie I am someone that it's really hard to offend and you know there were some moments in this movie where I wasn't offended but it was one of those things where it's like oh wow they went there I can't believe they went there but they went there and I gotta give the major props on the movie I gotta say for the first like full length like animated adult and uh, adult film this was super good like it had a story and a plot and it made you um i mean obviously if you're a fan of seth rogan movies and you've seen any of his other films like it the movie very much plays out like your i don't want to say typical but your your seth rogan movie i mean it, it's very much a seth rogan film but at the same time they actually kind of up the level of um substance i think you know um, I'm going to be honest, I was kind of on the fence with Seth Rogen until I saw him in 50-50, and then I absolutely loved him in that movie, you know? I mean, I mean, of course, I love Pineapple Express. I think still that's, like, in the top five of my favorite, like, Seth Rogen movies, and this, I think this movie is going to be in that, too. I think this has got to be in, like, my top five favorite Seth Rogen movies movies i mean even though he's not in it himself it's really good really good and um yes you know i've watched a bunch of other reviewers online and um i haven't read any of the written reviews i try to read written reviews but i've been sticking to um youtube critics for for this one but um you know, I understand where people are coming from where, you know, you can only hear a hot dog say fuck so many times before it's like, oh, hey, come on, I get I get the shtick. But, you know, it didn't really bother me that much. Actually, all the language and the swearing in the movie, again, I just lumped it up into the pile of, it's a Seth Rogen movie. There's got to be language. There's going to be this or that. So that didn't really bother me. With that said, there's a lot of language in this movie. Don't get me wrong. And again... Whether you're easily offended or not, if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of language in your movies, don't go see this movie for that reason, because it's left and right. And I do think it is because of that shtick. Oh, it's a hot dog saying the F word. But it's funny. The villain of this movie is also really clever. And he is what he is. And that's all I can say without spoiling the movie. The villain of this movie literally is what he is. And it's brilliant. But they also do other things in this movie that just wow the, the heck out of me. That they actually got some things through. You know, like, there's this one scene. I'm not going to say what happens, but in case any of you go see it after seeing this, or you go see it and you come back to watch this, the scene that really just was like, wow, they went there, was... I mean, from the trailers, you should already know this. This isn't really a spoiler. But once the food figures out what's going on, one of the carrots is running through the streets. And he comes across something. And it's one of those things where it's like, well, they did that. And it was hysterical. Like, there was only... I guess because most of the people around where I live had already seen it over the weekend... But uh, I saw this Tuesday night or Tuesday afternoon and I was only there was only like maybe 10, 15 people in the theater. So there wasn't that many of us and everybody in the theater was just chuckling. And, you know, the thing that I love about this movie is 
there isn't a lot of hard laughs in this movie. There was a lot of chuckles and stuff, and I definitely agree. There's like three or four major like hysterics through this movie. But I mean, when I say hysteric, I mean like my stomach was hurting from laughing. I walked out of the movie theater when the movie was over with a huge smile on my face. You know, uh, I, I really, really enjoyed this movie. With that being said, they, and without spoiling too much, they do open the movie for another one. Um, and if you've seen any of the recent articles with Seth Rogen, you know that they're, that's what they're aiming to do. I hope that that doesn't take away from how good this movie was. That's my only problem is I really enjoyed these characters. I actually gave them a lot of heart. There was a lot of social commentary and a lot of social poking fun. And it's great that the, the uh, different races and different stereotypes that they attribute to different foods was really interesting and hysterical as well. It was, it was just really utterly brilliant. So now let's get to the score. My score for this movie is a solid... Um, well, now that I say that, I think I'm going to give this one a 7. And it's... Yeah, I'm going to give it a solid 7. Yeah, I was... I'm Because I'm wrestling between 6.5 and 7. It's kind of like in that range for me. Um, and you know what? That's not bad for the first adult animated film. And I hope that this opens doors for more adult animated movies. Because, look, but in my opinion, as somebody who loves Disney animated movies and, and, and things like that, like, you know, I love Toy Story and I love, um, you know, How to Train Your Dragon and all those, you know, like family animated films. But you know what? I'm really excited for the idea and the hope that we're going to get more adult-centered animation. Because I love animation. And, you know, not that I think animation needs to be adult. Like, you know, there's still, you know, especially Pixar is really clever with shoehorning in real, like, adult humor in their family films. And it goes right over the kids' heads. But to have adult animated films would be awesome. So anyways, um, again, it's a 7 out of 10 for me. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought of the movie down below if you went and saw it. Or let me know if you're not planning on seeing it and why. Why, why is that? I know I have a lot of friends that absolutely have no intention of going and seeing this for various reasons. So let me know down below why. Um, you guys can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please give this video a like, it really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.